it's November here in Canada. It's freezing. It's raining. I've got a dry suit and a blow up paddle board and we're gonna go camp on an island in the middle of the lake. So let's get ready. Full transparency. This is the first time I've ever worn a dry suit and we're gonna figure it out. Oh, it's freezing. Oh shoot, it won't go over the hips. Okay, got it. The wrists are gusseted and the neck is gusseted. So you can be fully submerged in the water and apparently not get wet. Got into it, I look like a marshmallow, but we're ready to go. We ditched the manual pump and we're doing it. Hooked up to the car, one down, one more to go. It's almost winter here in Canada. It's a downfall and we're gonna be camping in the rain, but first we're going to have to pack all of our gear onto this paddle board, dog included. I hope there's dry firewood there. On an island, you're limited to what resources are around you. This is awesome. Okay, Kira, ready? Good boy. Time to sunset is four hours and we're starting our journey. That is where we're sleeping tonight over there. So we're approaching the island and you can see that it's pretty much on a giant hill. And we just have to find a flat part so that we don't have to carry our gear up this hill to get to a flat spot. Kiro is just running along the island as we paddle around. I think we found our camp spot, but we just want to check out another peak. See if we can't find something better. We found camp, so I'm going to finish the activity so that we know the route that we came. And I also can save it on the map. Finish. We didn't go that far, but this is going to be especially handy if you're on those longer trips and you want to track your distance, your speed, track all of the navigation. It's about two degrees right now and it's looking to be freezing temperatures overnight. Oh. Okay, I'm coming here, I'm hurrying. Oh yeah, the longer I stand in the water, the colder I get. I'm used to doing these trips by myself, so everything would take twice as long. I'm going to be setting up our shelter. Parker is on firewood duty. We've got this little saw. Honestly, it could use a little bit of uh, yeah. a little bit of grease. I haven't used it since last year. We're using what we have. So we have our NRS straps and we've just looped them through the corners and now we have a roof over our other roof. This is awesome. So I've got his dry food and I'm gonna top it with some freeze dried chicken just because he's been an extra good boy today. <laughs> All right, let's see how hard this thing is to get off. Apparently it's harder to get off than it is to get on. I'm gonna have to take the watch off for a second. We've got the base layer, the fleece, the puffy, and the waterproof outer layer. I'm feeling a lot more warm. It's beautiful. 
Don't fall back in the lake. <laughs> to pack my fishing rod taken apart in two pieces with the reel off all right parker's down there getting his fish so let's go see if it's my turn I don't know what that is. It looks like a sucker. Come on. Ah! Ah! This is so exciting. Is it in? <laughs> I'm gonna take this dry suit off and these shoes that I was using as my water shoes, they are being dressed. I'm gonna put on my the hiker boots. The sock is bone dry. That's awesome. Okay, Kiro's letting me know that he's cold. So I brought this microfiber towel and I'm just drying him off so that I can put his jacket on. Uh, he was never in the water, he just got wet from the rain. And then just his top layer gets wet if it's rain, so we're just, I'm just gonna dry off his hair up. His butt's pretty wet. Oh yes, he loves his sweater. Begging me to put it on. Yes, you love your coat. But he loves being outside and he loves his coats. Careful. That's a big boy. That means Kiro can have some tonight. Beautiful, okay. The sun's just about to go down. My watch says time till sunset is one minute. I have wanted a smart training watch for so long. I'm so grateful to Koros for sponsoring today's video and supporting Kiro and I and allowing us to keep making videos. It is such an amazing watch packed with features. I chose the Apex 2 Pro because it has GPS and navigation features. I saw Alex Honnold and Tommy Conwell who are professional climbers and they just released a documentary called Devil's Thumb and they were wearing the Koros watches. I think it's the only watch on the market right now that that can track your navigation straight vertical. I'm not a climber, but it has so many features that I love and have been using every single day. With the Koros app, you can pre-plan your route. It can either be a distinguished route that's on an app like Strava, or you can actually just drag your finger and create your own route through their map system. 
and then you sync it to your watch and you can follow that pre-downloaded map and you can save pinpoints if you pass a good caught on a rock okay false alarm but as i was saying if on your route you pass a good fishing spot or a potential camping spot but you're not ready to stop for the day you can save that location and pinpoint it on the map and you can do this all while out of service you can get 21 days out of this watch in standard mode which i've tested i've had it for about two months now and if it's in navigation mode you can get 66 hours out of it which is Stop. Okay, I caught one. Okay. I think that's a rainbow. Oh, he's stuck. There you go, buddy. <laughs> that's a good size rainbow. You came running. We're on a sketchy part right now, and I dropped it before I could. Show you guys, but that was a beautiful rainbow. It was huge. Long story short, having this watch is a game changer. I can track elevation gain, loss, kilometers. And then my last favorite thing is tracking my sleep. It can tell me exactly how many hours of sleep and what quality of sleep I'm getting. I found that if I have anything less than eight hours, I feel sluggish the next day. And if I'm only hitting REM or light sleep, but I'm not getting any of that deep sleep. I have a custom link in my bio if you're interested. It really helps Kira and I. I appreciate you guys. And I'm gonna go eat some fish now. Let's give it a taste. It's pretty pink. You can't really see it. It's got a nice pink color to it. Mmm. I love fish. I just love them. I think they're my favorite animal now. Look at that salad. Try to get as far as possible. Look at that deeper, less dirty, rocky water. Now I have to not slip on these rocks. Boiled some hot water in the jet boil. Oh, it pours very nicely. instant french vanilla and i've got some instant coffee grinds but it's a bit bitter so i'm going to mix it with a little bit of hot chocolate powder i'm not quite sure how it gets better than this got my pink fly because the trout are eating salmon eggs right now i've got my coffee let's cast a few this is where I caught the rainbow trout last night, so I, I kind of want to do it again so I can actually show you guys and have the camera set up properly. I think that was my first time fishing in the rain yesterday, and there's nothing quite like it. It seems like it hides the lure as it drops in. We might have to change spots, though. go i finally have a gear room where i can lay this stuff out to dry well at least most of it because this is all pretty wet
some trolling. See if we can't catch something. <laughs> we made it to land. We camped in the rain. We fished. And I want a crispy chicken sandwich. So <laughs> we're clocking out. Thank you so much for being here. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.